First off is just start making movies, start making things. Some really good ways to get, like, a lot, learn a lot quickly. Have you guys ever heard of, like, the 48-hour film projects? Uh -huh. well, <laughs> yeah, so, so we've done dozens of those. There's one in Frederick Hall, a 72 Fest, if you want another day to make it. Um, those are a really, really good way to force you to finish something. And for us, it's been most of our films have come out of those, and we go on to festivals with them. We say, hey, this was good enough. It took us a lot of years to do it, but we like this enough to push it to festivals. So it really, and it also forces us to uh, work with new people, and it puts them kind of under more of a tighter deadline. Um, so on our private sets, we can try out people under pressure to bring them onto corporate sets. So yeah, really, it's just, just I mean, it's a great time for getting into it because there's so much um, gear out there. It's so easy to get your hands on um, and just really focus on it. I mean, what it's always been about is the story and the character. So don't get distracted. I mean, you know, Soderbergh or whatever did just did uh, Unsane on an iPhone. It was a great movie. Um, so don't worry about the quality of the gear. Just worry about, you know, framing, worry about the story, and worry about, you know, kind of, uh, um, you know, what, what you're trying to tell. The more you do it, the more you practice, the better you get. And then be open to feedback. You know, I, I hold my films very loosely because I want people to give me feedback so I can improve. And I think that's sometimes the mistake people make. Well, this is my film and it's the best thing ever. And you know, no, it's not because no film is perfect. <laughs> you know, and so learn to get feedback. And I'm I'm super critical of my stuff, and I love it when people are super critical of my stuff because it forces me to become a better filmmaker. It forces me to think at it and look at it from a different perspective and say, okay, yeah, I could have improved that. I could have done that better. And, and I, I see the progression in the films that I've made that they get better over time because I get that feedback and, and I learn you know, from one to the next. And I'm not afraid to, for people just to trash my film because it makes me better. So another big thing too is if someone gives you their card or invites you somewhere, just follow up. So we did a, a talk at um, a community college up in Frederick, and I told all the students, just reach out to us, you can probably find a spot in our set. One student did, and we still work with him today. He came out from LA, he's like, can I use your studio to shoot in? I'm like, sure, we're like friends now. It's like, it's so weird, I say, just reach out to me, we'll give you advice, we'll give you tips, you might bring it on set, and so few people actually follow up and do it. Respect someone enough to where if they give you an offer or you, they say, hey, reach out to us, just do it. Yeah, probably go a long way. Read screenplays. And show up and be on time. And show up. That's important.